what is a super 170 in this video I'll show you what is the super 170 capable of and the modifications that make it such a great airplane There were 5,000 Cessna 170s manufactured between 1948 and 1956 and three different versions Cessna 170, 170A and 170B These are single engine piston airplanes with a gross weight of 2,200 pounds The stock engine in a 170B is a Continental O300 with 145 horsepower the instrument panel is low, which gives great visibility. The panel is simple, you don't have room to put too many GPS or gadgets. The start of the modifications are with uh, replacing the engine for a Lycoming O360 with constant speed propeller. Then you can add all the stall mods, stall kit, big tires, etc. The Cessna 170 is a lovely, benign airplane to fly. When I started to fly the 170, the first feeling I got it was that it was very light on the controls and the airplane felt very light and responsive. I consider myself a novice because I only have like 30 hours tail wheel time by the time I film this video but still I was able to have some fun on the gravel bars and grass fields. I think flying my Cessna 182 into these places helps a lot. It feels a lot different and easier in the 170. Something I'm liking a lot are the Alaskan bush wheel tires. I have 31 inch on this airplane and they absorb everything. See, for example, this gravel bar has medium sized rocks combined with big rocks to see how the airplane shakes I think these tires are a must for off airport operations you can save your airplane from a hidden rock hidden sea or a log or a dip on the gravel bar The technique I'm using for takeoffs to make them as short as possible is start with one notch of flat and add 30 degrees of flat once I get speed and I can lower the nose so the airplane will start flying on its own. Then lower the nose to get some ground effect and wait until I get some speed so I start retracting flaps. I try starting with no flaps but it was difficult to reach so I'd rather start with First notch. I'm still new so there is a lot to learn. The airplane feels very stable at slow speeds and with lots of control authority. So this kind of gravel bar landings are a very realistic option without being super challenging since the approach speeds and landing speeds are really slow. Something I'm liking about this airplane is that it gives you lots of feedback. You can feel the airplane a lot. It tells you what it's doing. And you have full authority even at very low speeds. The two blade MT propeller works very nice for these kinds of approaches. Now let's take a look at the mods that makes this airplane a great backcountry airplane. Sportsman's stall kit reduces the approach speeds dramatically. Not only that, it also makes the airplane more spin resistant, so actually makes a safer airplane. Increases wing area and reduces the stall speed. 
These are micro aerodynamics vortex generators, also known as VGs. I've flown the airplane before and after VGs, and on the very first flight, I could tell the difference. At slow speeds, a lot more control authority. It increased the elevator authority at slow speeds. Alaskan bush wheels absorbs the energy of those rough landings, rough terrain, big rocks, if you hit a hidden log or a dip on the gravel bar, these tires will save your airplane. They are tubeless, so no stem valves shirt. Alaskan baby bush wheel are designed specifically for off airport operations and work particularly well for landing and taking off from gravel bars, sand, grass, big rocks. Empty two blade propeller, it does make a big difference very lightweight. It gives you quick acceleration, also can work as an air brake, which really helps to do steep approaches. Now let's see inside the airplane. We install sport aircraft seats. They are very high quality seats, very comfortable, easy to order them online and you can install them yourself. Plenty of options to choose from. SCS heavy duty carpet. I like the look and also it's great for my mountain bike rides. I put my bike it's full of dirt or mud and it's very easy to clean. They come pre cut for the Cessna 170 and they're very easy to install. We replace the fuel senders with size, which combined with Airspace Logic fuel gauges are really accurate. We also install the Aerospace Logic oil pressure and oil temperature gauge. Alpha systems, angle of attack indicator. Whatever plane I will own, I will put one. Highly recommend it. Now let's go flying and see the Super 170 in action. And how much fun this airplane can be. Tall grass is a non issue now. You can do short takeoffs from tall grass strips, no problem. Or just operate from off airport grass fields. This Super 170 cruises at 120 miles an hour. It's not fast, but it's not that bad either. With the big tires, it's doing a good job. Wet grass where this airplane really shines is doing off airport operations. Gravel bars are really a lot of fun. It's like this airplane has been made for this. Cessna produces pretty good airplanes that can be used in the wet country and bushland. The 185 which can carry a lot, the 180, the 206, the 207, the 182 and also the 172 with some mods. a lot trying to improve my techniques and get the most performance out of this airplane it has great potential is this the best Cessna airplane for bush flying 
that would probably depend on your mission but it's very likely that it is the most fun to fly so I'm really liking this airplane the next video is going to be about the 182 I'm going to name it Super 182 and then the following will be a comparison between the two of them stay tuned 182 is still great and very capable airplane it is very easy to join to be a patron of Backcountry 182 go to the uh, YouTube channel on the right hand side there is the link. please become a patron to support and it takes you to Backcountry the 182 page here you can see all the tiers and what is all about the support for Backcountry 182 YouTube channel also another way to access the Patreon link is in the description of the video I put in YouTube on Backcountry 182 channel there is a link for Patreon so just click on that and it will take you to the page thank you for watching it would be amazing if you guys are interested and give some support